Now, I would like to explain about the wiring a little more in detail. A figure like this that shows a pictorial representation of an electrical circuit is called a wiring diagram. It is helpful when you are wiring devices or assembling a machine. However, when the wiring is complicated, it's difficult to understand the order of operation of the machine, and another method of representation becomes required. And so, we use sequence diagrams to easier understand the order of operation. In sequence diagrams, contacts and relays are arranged in order of operation and connected by straight lines. This drawing is standardized and can be understood by any third party. Another type of representation, called a flowchart, is helpful when considering the overall series of operations. This flowchart shows that when the power is turned on, the blue light turns on and the red light turns off. Then, depending on whether the push button is on or off, operation either returns to the beginning or proceeds to another step. In this case, turning the blue light off and turning the red light on. For understanding the operation timing of devices, we also have timing chart representation. Devices are listed on the vertical axis, and the horizontal axis represents time. When the button is pressed, the relay is actuated, the blue light turns off, and the red light turns on. When the button is released, the relay disengages, the red light turns off, and the blue light turns on again. It becomes complicated when more control is required, but these representations can be used to design sequence control. Now that we've learned the basics of sequence control, we can move on to the PLC, which is simply a device that performs sequence control. In the next chapter, we will learn the structure of the PLC and how to use it.